feeling you're going to sleep up on this coach, aren't you? Is that what you're planning? questions people being sarcastic but asking how many slivers I got for injuries that I get during this cabin build and there was one incident when I was lifting the ridge beams up onto the roof into position I was climbing up this ladder actually with the heavy heavy six by six hemlock beam and it just shifted on me and it came down on my thigh and gave me a bruise, but I kept working. It wasn't it wasn't uh, enough to, to uh, stop me, so it wasn't that bad. But that was literally the only uh, minor injury I've had in the last nine months working on this cabin. No slivers, no uh, black nails from hitting with a hammer, no roof falls, no ladder falls. And I think the reason for that is that a couple of reasons. I think one of them is that it's not a job, so I'm able to uh, take my time. It's one thing about trying to be in the workforce and make money is that you need to do things quickly. That's certainly not the case here. I think the other thing is that I'm just in the moment when I'm working here. Uh, I mean, listen to the lack of noise, listen to the silence outside and the fresh air. I think maybe makes a difference too. I'm just able to really, really focus on what I'm doing. No distractions, even when I'm deep in thought, which I am a lot when I'm working like I am right now, it still doesn't dis distract me from the work itself. I'm able to pay attention. Now I do have a cell phone here with me and I have a first aid kit. And to answer the other questions about safety, I do have a carbon monoxide uh, alarm and also a fire extinguisher, so. I'll have to add screws later once I get to a hardware store.
Yeah, that's going to be a favorite spot. Kind of feeling. Hey everybody, welcome back to the cabin. Um, just to continue on with the series about the building of this cabin, what I did, what I learned from it, what I'm going to do differently in the next cabin. Hey, Cal, you want to come up? Careful, good girl. This bench is one of the first things I built after the, well, as I was doing the interior, because I needed a place not only to, to sit and eat at the table, but also to sleep. So I designed this so that it could be done for uh, used for both. So it's six feet long and 30, 30 inches wide. And we had a mattress, uh, like a camp mattress custom made for that. So it fits on there. So it was used a lot as a bed, you know, guests and then as well as me using it during the uh, summer, especially when it gets hot upstairs. So the, so it's worked well as a bed. It's not so great for a bench to sit at to eat because of the depth. Can't lean back, which is why I had all these pillows all lined up along the back. So it kind of brought my back off the wall. And that worked decent. Uh, I still, I would do it again. I mean, I did like that design. It'd be nice to have an option. I had the one chair on the other side that I used a lot. Would have been nice to have two or three chairs and maybe one on the end here. And that way this bench would have been just sort of overflow um, again it was good though for like especially when we had a family dinner here or something everybody could sit around the table and it again was really useful for uh, for sleeping so this section here you saw me lift that up that's the storage I always had stuff in there like um, things that, I, that uh, weren't things that I would keep a little bit more hidden in case somebody was to break in might be the last place they look it's not obvious that that's a, a compartment that you can get into the back side of it the last half of it there is just open on the other side and i would just push stuff under there to store it as well the thing about a cabin this small is that you need to be really efficient with your space so anything that can be dual purpose i've done it that way so the bench is a bed a bench for sitting at and storage um, it's pretty well like that all around the cabin. Different sections are like that that are that are dual purpose. Anyway, I'm going to do something similar to this in the new cabin. I'm not sure if the table will be that size exactly, but it'd be something probably similar. It needs to be able to sit the whole family for for a special occasion dinners. 
and uh, the seating or the uh, bedding arrangement here worked out pretty good too. So but I won't change a lot about it. Um, I'm not even sure what exactly, but anyway, if you want to see what I'm doing in the new place, just tune into the uh, 2021 playlist that's in the top left hand corner of your screen. If you just want to watch the rest of uh, my discussion on how I built this cabin and what I would do differently, you can click on the playlist in the bottom left hand side of the screen. So thanks for watching. appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you at the cabin next time. Take care.